Hello, one and relative, and welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 13, where we are currently just expanding our very rudimentary base. But one thing we could do with today is getting ourselves a wooden butcher table. <gasps> Look, it's our bear! Um, put the butcher table there, and also get ourselves an electric stove. Now, we could get a fueled stove which you fuel with wood, but I'm going to go for electric and I'm actually going to start up our power system. So we're going to get a generator, put it outside, and we're going to run a cable. Hey there, Susan. Still working on obedience. Uh, still a lot of work to be done in terms of just even just general hauling. We'll get there eventually. Right. So, one thing we also need to do is once we've got to the stage where we can actually do some um, just generic dog's body work, I would like to start some hunting going on. The reason for that is I would like some leather. I can use the leather to make beds for our bear and our wag. Now, the problem here is that our beds are made of just wood. There is nothing else in our beds. I don't even know how we've got covers. They're apparently just made of wood. Uh, probably just painted wood. Just a sheet. Like a sheet made of just wood. So basically like a board on top of us. Uh, they, however, get leather beds. Oh god, what are we going to name this place? I always get stuck on this and I'm always like, I have no idea what you're going to be called. So, I'm going to call you War Bear. No. Barrington. There we go. So named for our usage of war bears in combat. Oh, hello. Uh, bite your tail from the hare. And you just ate the hare. Well, I guess we aren't feeding you kibble yet. Because... You're not connected? Oh, well, you just don't have fuel. That's fine. Um, electric stove. Add bill. Cook simple meal. And then I always go for like twice as many people as I have. So cook until you've got six. So we'll always have six meals. Once we get the butcher table, we can make kibble. We still need to like cut far more trees down. Right, there we go. Bill, add Bill, make kibble, do until you have, and we're going to go for twice as many kibble as animals, so that'd be four, and butch creature forever, so always keep our creatures nice and butchered. Refuel the generator. There we go, now I've got power. Okay, this place is coming on quite nicely. Still got a load of hauling to be done. It doesn't help that I think one of our people can't do hauling. Get a bit more wood going. Have a think about... I really wish I had the EDB interface so I could select my people much easier. Melee 10. Shooting. shooting yeah, to be honest, I think when we go for the hunting, we could probably just take all of our guys. Who will we hunt for leather? Probably the does. We want to keep enough to make sure they can re- oh. How do you die? You were bitten by a tortoise and then died from an extreme untreated infection. Which means that you're probably not good to eat. But at the same time, we can use the leather. I'm sorry, Grizzly Bear. Susan's female, right? I mean, Shushumu. Shushumu, you female. Yes, you are. Excellent. So I just need to get a male grizzly bear. Which, sadly... Were you male grizzly bear? No, you're female. That's fine. Don't worry about it. I want to breed grizzly bears and have an army of grizzly... Like, troops. Just like a horde of grizzly bears charging towards the enemy. Preferably with me riding them, that would be good. 
I would like that. I can't see any more grizzlies. Okay, I think we're nearly done. Yeah, it's the last thing to haul. Right. Uh, no, I don't want to manage a thing. You go away. I'm not doing that yet. Hunting. Right. Now I've got to make sure I hunt them so that I don't, like, kill off the breeding pairs. So I'm going to kill off two does. I'll leave two does and a stag. I assume it's called a stag. I don't actually know. It's a buck. Sorry. Yes, that's the one. I don't want to attack the boomlopes because I'm just not sure what will happen. Oh, there's a buck down here. Two bucks and a doe. In fact, then we'll kill off the buck as well. Bear skin. Oh, are you going hunting? Yes, you are. Okay, how badly damaged? A bruise. A scar to your eye? Oh god, no. Yeah, melee, bad. Very bad. An eye scar? We need to work on that. Um, we need to have like a medical bed somewhere? Let's get like furniture, wood bed, and just temporarily put like a medical bed over here. Can I like force you to build that so that you can go turn it into a medical? Yeah, please do. Because I would like you to like, you know, get healing on your eye. Ugh. What happened to your eye? You're just a scar. Yeah, you got kicked with a front leg. Right. And who is our ridiculous healer? Um, Doctor. Yuki Z. James. Quick, do the treatment before like things get infected, and then you lose an eye, and then you lose a face, and then you lose a head. Because quite honestly, losing your head is not saying I want to happen. Uh, metaphorically, or really. Alright, he's still gonna have a scar there. Is it not worrying having a bear sleeping in your room? Nope. Cool. Now, how are we going to expand this? We should have a freezer for some food. Let's put our freezer. Temporarily going to be making this out of wood. It isn't good to have wood because the thermal conductivity is... Actually, the thermal conductivity of wood is low, which is good. Like stone would be... Hmm. Uh, anyway, we're going to put a, a freezer in here. And what else? We're going to need a medical bay over here. So cancel that. Cancel that. And then we'll put a heater in here. So deconstruct.
We can always expand it and improve it as time goes on. We should also build some defenses. Because I'm aware that since we are playing actually on running random, I don't know if I mentioned this, but we're playing on running random. Uh, Cassandra has the issue where, like, if you get competent, of course I'm not competent, um, you can just, like, be like, yeah, every attack is going to be easy. And then you, you expect the same levels of attacks. It gets a bit boring. Uh, running random consistently, like, throws you different stuff. Which is fun. Um, so that's why we're going to be playing on Randy. Now I'm playing rough because I would normally play a difficulty higher than rough. But because I'm, again, haven't played this in a while, I think it's probably an idea to play something where I'm not going to immediately die. So Randy just throws you stuff that's not even tied to the level that you're currently at in the game. Right, yes, I would like cooler air to go that way. Birthday. And you can see James has just become Thrail. Oh, well, that is absolutely terrible. I mean, at least, you know, you're our medic. Social, like, I guess is acceptable. Ooh, did you just learn obedience? <gasps> Yay! <gasps> you're gonna go hunting? Yeah, look at them, they're going hunting. Masters, alcoholic, you really have a pretty good deal going on there. What temperature are you going for? We'll bring you down to like three degrees. It's dropping slowly. Beavers. Goof hungry apple beavers is destroyed. Try to eliminate the foot that decimate every last tree in the- Oh, God. Oh, and they're really far away as well. That said, they are trapped up here. I might just let them, like, eat all the trees up here and just forget about it. Now, what I could do is I could race them for the trees. I could start, like, trying to get as many trees as possible. Because I have, like, entirely cut this area off. So what I'm going to do is we're going to try and get as much wood from here as we, can, like, possibly can. Cargo pods, where? What is it? Deer hide. Actually, I could do with deer hide. So, yeah, I will grab that. Now, the other opportunity is, like, I could actually, like, take on the alpha beavers. Can I tame them? Intermediate health. Melee DPS, not great. Genetically engineered to harvest wood from machinery like efficiency, and the animals have specialized feed. These animals went through a manic state that compels them to eat trees whole. Excellent. Maybe I'll just hunt them. Either way, we need to put a door in first, so let's wait for the door to be done. And I'll also put a door in here so they can finish. I'm going to start to run out of wood at this rate. Which is annoying because I really want a lot of wood over here. Maybe we just, like, chop one tree. There we go. Also, having a stockpile really far away isn't really helping. Summer! Summer has begun, but winter is coming. Okay. Got to be aware of that. At least we've got, like, a lot of meat, right? A lot of venison. Some grizzly bear, which is probably infected. Yeah, don't ever eat the meat of a creature that's died because of chronic infection. No, it's not chronic. Chronic is over time. Acute infection, that's the one. How are those beavers doing? Oh, my God, they've... They've moved pretty fast. I am going to remove the hunting on everyone but Masters. 
just because Masters is pretty good at the hunting and also has a wag and a bear protecting him. Heat wave. Well, it's only like 18, so it's going to pop up to like 28. That's manageable. And the temperature there is 3 slash 4. Sweet. I won't tell anyone to do anything with that just yet. I want this to be built. Right. Oh my god. Those trees have all... Hunt the beavers. Once you're done holding that steel, please tell me you're hunting the beavers. Meditating. No, I need you to hunt beavers. Once you're done meditating, please hunt beavers. Come on, masters. I need you. I need you to hunt the beavers. Yes, hunting alpha beaver. See, and Susan and Fable are there. No, just keep hunting. And then hunt the next one. We'll move them later. Are they leaving? Oh, food. Anyway, we now got a load of beaver meat and beaver skin. Didn't manage to stop them taking a massive chunk there. You can see James, why are you in a poor mood? Heat stroke. Fre oh my god, the heat wave's not. It's gone from 18 to 42. How does that even happen? Uh, I'm gonna just get you standing in the fridge for a little while. Poor mood still, mainly because you've just been drafted. Uh, totally joy deprived. We should probably make them something to, like, you know, enjoy. Yeah, let's do that. Joy. What do I have in terms of blocks? Limestone. Yeah, have a horseshoe pin. Have a limestone chest table, uh, which we'll put. I don't really care where we put it, like here. And that costs cloth. We can't do that. Okay, but at least we have the other stuff. Um, also, at the same time, furniture. Bear skin can't get. Deer hide can't get. Beaver skin can't get. Good job. That's a wood table. Okay, and let's zone area. Stockpile zone. And this is where we're going to store only our, like, perishable foodstuffs. So, we're going to have priority one above normal, so preferred. And then clear all. Food. And then corpses, animal corpses. Should we put body parts in here as well? Do they need to be stored in? Probably don't need to be stored like that. I think they come in like a box themselves. Um, and that should store all our food. And we should be good. It won't ever go off, in theory. Probably shouldn't have built these so far apart, but whatever. Psychic Soothe. Every cause of the male genus smiles with contentment. Some distant engine of happiness is stirring it. It is projecting a powerful psychic drone over this entire region. Frequency that only seems to affect the male gender. For a few days, some people's moods would be quite a bit better. Excellent. 
You can see James was complaining a minute ago, and now... Very low expectations. Excellent. 15. Great. Hopefully we can improve. Um, it's still 35 degrees, but hopefully we can improve your joy relatively soon. But for now, I guess I've been at Norelsium. Uh, if you've enjoyed, please like or subscribe. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, just remember one thing. Nice to stay shiny.